Hi all. Okay, last week I talked about co-regulation and taking deep breaths to help your child get through tough moments. So I wanna dive into deep breaths and what that means in terms of brain science and coping with things that are difficult. Our bodies have something called a polyvagal nerve that's attached to our prefrontal cortex amygdala, our brain. Our polyvagal nerve sends signals to our brain to let us know how we should feel, how we should react, and what we should do. Sorry, I walked through a spider web there. When things are feeling difficult. And so we have a diaphragm that's, you know, just underneath our belly. And there's something called diaphragmatic breathing. And when you take deep breaths, and you do that several times, it soothes the polyvagal nerve. And this is important because when your polyvagal nerve is balanced, it sends signals to your brain to stay calm, which again calms your amygdala and your prefrontal cortex can do its job. And so when I talk about co-regulation and I talk about helping your kids soothe, you do that by taking deep breaths, deep diaphragmatic breaths. You breathe in and you breathe out. Now, some people are gonna think that's cheesy and you know, it's not the tough way of doing things. But in fact, you know, Navy SEALs have a one, two, three, four breathing technique that they use. And I think they're probably the most tough people there are on earth. You know, you watch anybody playing sports or doing anything difficult and you will see, you'll see them take deep breaths. And that deep breathing is very, very important for us to stay calm and to soothe. Little story, a couple weeks ago, I took my daughter out to go hand resumes out and it's very hard for her. She's an athlete and, you know, can get on a volleyball court and strong player. She does have to take deep breaths when she's out there too, but it's a little different than handing out resumes. But she had to take deep breaths and get through it, walk into the store, hand in a resume face to face and it was difficult, but she did it. So fast forward a couple weeks to a few days ago and Kessa, here's your shout out. Uh, my daughter and her friend Kessa, again, Kessa's another volleyball player, does well on the volleyball court, strong kid, but she gets anxious when she has to be in front of groups of people, handing out resumes, what do I say? How do I do this? It's not like hitting a volleyball. So anyways, as we're handing out resumes, I have to remind the girls, specifically Kessa, when Kessa takes some deep breaths. She looked at me kind of funny the first time, but she deep took breaths. Some Went and handed the resume in. Next time, they jumped back in the truck. By the time we got to the next place to hand off a resume, before she got out of the truck, I'm like, Kessa, what do you need to do? I need to take deep breaths. Take some deep breaths. Got the resumes handed out. Fast forward now, about three or four days, and the kids are having a little get together at the house last night on Canada Day. Happy Canada, happy belated Canada Day, by the way. And Kessa gets there, and she's so excited. She was Leroy, Leroy. I was hoping that I was going to be able to find you. I need to tell you something. And she's so excited. If anybody knows Kessa, she gets excited. And she goes, I had my orientation at Boston Pizza. And guess what I did? I'm like, what? She goes, I took deep breaths. I watched your videos. I found you on Facebook. I learned everything you told me. And I did it. Kessa's 16. My daughter's 16. So for those of you who think this is just for elementary kids, don't fool yourself. Our teenage daughters or teenage sons need it too. And earlier I talked about, you know, the Navy SEALs have breathing techniques. Watch movies. You see in movies when things get tough, you see people taking deep breaths or reminding people to take deep breaths. Taking deep breaths 
is an unbelievable strategy for calming that polyvagal nerve that's connected to our brain. It's super important. Now, for those of you who are struggling, okay, how do I teach this to my kids? How do I co-regulate? How do I, how do I get my kids to self-soothe? Well, you're in luck. I wrote a book called And Breathe. A little stitch coming in here. I wrote a book that has 50 different breathing strategies for parents, for teachers that you can use to do rocket ship breathing, hot chocolate breathing, pizza breathing, heart breathing, animal breathing, you name it. But at the premise of it all is simply taking deep diaphragmatic breaths, just deep breaths in, deep breaths out because it soothes your mind, soothes your brain so you can engage your thinking. So you're not stuck in that emotional brain when you need your thinking brain to be in charge. All of us, adults, kids, teenagers, Sometimes we're confronted with things that make us nervous, anxious, and we have to take those deep breaths so that we become the master of our emotions and not the victims to them. So that we are, we can engage our thinking brain, we can engage that prefrontal cortex. The point being is that practicing deep diaphragmatic breathing with our kids when they're little, with our teenagers, when they run into situations that are tough with our friends or adults is super important and we have to do it. My next video, I'm going to talk about eliciting emotions where we try to elicit emotions from our kids so that we can purposefully teach our kids to breathe and work through discomfort. I know it sounds crazy, but it's something that we can do when it doesn't happen naturally to speed up that process. Okay, till next time.